Welcome, Corey Quinn here. You've tuned in to a bonus episode of the Deep Specialization Podcast. For a limited time, every week, we're releasing a chapter of my new book, Anyone, Not Everyone, a proven system to escape founder-led sales. This is in addition to the weekly episode that we release every Wednesday. In case you don't know me, I'm a 17-year veteran of the agency space. I was recently the chief marketing officer at an agency called Scorpion. While there, we grew revenue from 20 million to 150 million. We also grew the sales team from six people to 100. We grew the company from 100 people to 1,000, and we grew the number of clients from 1,000 to 14,000. My passion is helping agency owners simplify their marketing and escape founder-led sales by becoming a vertical market specialist. I wrote this book because through my experience in scaling Scorpion and also working with my agency owner clients and interviewing many more on my podcast, this very podcast you're listening to, I've seen the awesome power of specializing in a vertical market can have in scaling. By listening to the book, I hope you embrace and deploy the strategies and tactics I share. If you want to get the full audiobook for free, you can go to anyone not everyone.com that's anyone not everyone.com it's available today now on to the episode chapter 17 get started people often overestimate what will happen in the next two years and underestimate what will happen in 10 bill gates microsoft co-founder I hope this audiobook has given you a clear and practical roadmap for embarking on your deep specialization journey from generalist to vertical market specialist. Before I let you go, here are a few more helpful perspectives to get you going. You won't burn the ships. I often hear this quote, I am worried about clients leaving when they hear we focus the agency on a vertical they're not in, quote. The reality is, is that they won't care that you've updated your website and positioning to focus on dentists, let's say if they're an attorney. What they care about is that you continue providing them with the support they came to you for in the first place. These existing relationships will act as a safety net, ensuring financial stability for your team as you find footing in your new vertical market. Deep specialization isn't a cure-all. Despite all the benefits of adopting a vertical market strategy, it's important to understand that it's not a cure-all. Just as a good recipe needs more than one ingredient, success isn't guaranteed by going vertical. You'll still need solid business fundamentals, a great product, and the ability to deliver value at scale. Vertical specialization can be a stepping stone. Peter Thiel said, quote, the most successful companies make the core progression first to dominate a specific niche and then to scale adjacent markets, a part of their founding narrative. Quote, Some agency founders satisfy their growth by focusing on one vertical market. For others, it could be a stepping stone to larger growth opportunities. For example, Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, started Amazon in 1994 with one product, which was selling books online. Today, it's a $1.5 trillion company with many business lines and over 120 million products across many categories. Another example is my last company, Scorpion. For many years, we sold to attorneys and hospitals. Then we expanded to healthcare, home services, franchise brands, and medical practices. This shift scaled the company to the $150 million mark. In other words, just because you start with one vertical doesn't mean you have to stop there. 5% market share gives you options. Once you've passed the 5% market share mark, for example, you have 500 clients within a vertical with 10,000 businesses, it means you're providing superior value and building a foundation of trustworthiness within the vertical. Here are some things this 5% milestone unlocks for you. Number one, you could raise prices and stay smaller. Maybe you don't aspire to be a $100 million agency owner, preferring more of a boutique setup. Perhaps you're enjoying the simplicities of running a lean agency team and keeping client relationships front and center. If that's you, increase your prices by 20% or more. Sure, you may lose a few clients over time and you may not win as many deals, but the increased margin will bring peace of mind. Next, launch your next vertical market. At the 5% mark, you've already built the systems, processes, and programs for your vertical. 
Now's a good time to launch into a new vertical that has similar problems to the ones you're currently solving, so you can leverage your systems there. In other words, are you helping attorneys with local SEO? Plumbers need your help too. And finally, solve adjacent problems for your existing vertical buyer. If you haven't already, look for additional problems that your current vertical clients are dealing with that you can confidently solve. For example, your attorney SEO clients also need websites, reputation management, listings, social media, lead intake, business coaching, Google PPC, and more. Deep specialization, pro tip. Selling more services to existing clients means you don't need to find new clients in order to grow. Avoiding imposter syndrome. The topic of imposter syndrome often comes up in conversations with agency owners who are in the early stages of their deep specialization journey. So I thought I'd share my thoughts on it with you. Let's say you're an owner of an accomplished and well-respected generalist digital marketing agency. You've recently decided to focus your business on hospital systems. Yet outside of working with a handful of them, you may not know much about them and their world. You may wonder if hospital systems will even take you seriously. So you may be hesitant to promote your new specialty. And that's okay. Here's the reality. You don't need to know everything about hospital systems to start making a meaningful impact in their world. Keep these things in mind. You're already an expert in your industry. The reason why your clients hire you and stay with you is because you've proven you can create outstanding results from digital marketing. You probably know more than you give yourself credit for. This is especially true if you already work with a handful of hospital system clients. It's about progress, not perfection. With your decision to focus on hospital systems, every day will lead to greater insights and learnings about the vertical that over time will compound the value you create for them. The learning never ends. I've spent over 15 years in the agency space and I'm still learning new ways to market and grow an agency. That's what keeps it interesting. Get started. Finally, I encourage you to just get started. It's been said the best time to plant a tree was 30 years ago and the second best time is today. If you're listening to these words, my guess is you've known for a while that taking a vertical market approach is the right path for you. Yes, change can be scary, but I believe that you have the courage to make it happen. Make today the day you say yes to deep specialization. I believe in you. Congratulations. You're now ready to take advantage of one of the most powerful strategies for freeing yourself from founder-led sales. By following the steps in this audiobook, you will fill your agency with clients who love you and you'll scale your agency. I'm excited for you to take this journey because I know firsthand how transformational it will be for you, your employees, and your clients. Here's to your success. If you need more help, in addition to the companion workbook and videos found at anyonenoteveryone.com, here are some additional resources to help you. I have resources that are free available at coreyquinn.com slash free hyphen resources including my deep specialization daily newsletter. I have a deep specialization podcast, as well as articles on deep specialization. You can also find paid resources on my website at coreyquinn.com slash paid hyphen resources. This includes opportunities to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, my membership site, as well as workshops. Congratulations. You're now ready to take advantage of one of the most powerful strategies for freeing yourself from founder-led sales. By following the steps in this audiobook, you will fill your agency with clients who love you and you'll scale your agency. I'm excited for you to take this journey because I know firsthand how transformational it will be for you, your employees, and your clients. Here's to your success. If you need more help, in addition to the companion workbook and videos found at anyonenoteveryone.com, here are some additional resources to help you. I have resources that are free available at coreyquinn.com slash free hyphen resources, including my deep specialization daily newsletter. I have a deep specialization podcast, as well as articles on deep specialization. 
You can also find paid resources on my website at coreyquinn.com slash paid hyphen resources. This includes opportunities to work with me one-on-one, my membership site, as well as workshops. The end. Hey, Corey here. I hope you enjoyed that chapter of my book, Anyone, Not Everyone. If you want to get the full audiobook for free, you could do so right now by going to anyonenoteveryone.com. That's anyonenoteveryone.com.